obviously I think most of you are aware that Glastonbury unfortunately had to postpone um, this year's festival to next year once again there's two postponements one last year one this year um, obviously for people like myself you know nightlife dance music festival going out people it's a bit of sad news but it also we need to have some perspective in terms of what's going forward um, in terms of what is to look what we have to look forward to going forward right um Glastonbury being cancelled is a big blow don't get me wrong but I think I still think there's some context that needs to be attached to it to make sure that we don't get too hysterical and don't think that our entire year has been written off even though I still think it is I'm still optimistic that maybe things can change anyway it's a statement here from Glastonbury Festival's Twitter account it says the following let's read it out here in full Glastonbury Festival statement with great regret we must announce that this year's Glastonbury Festival will not take place and that this will be another enforced fallow year for us in spite of the efforts to move heaven and earth it has become clear that we cannot and will not be able to have the festival happen um, as with last year we would like to offer all those who secured a ticket in October 2019 an opportunity to roll their £50 deposit over to next year and guarantee the chance to buy a ticket for Glastonbury 2022 we are very appreciative of the faith and trust placed in us for both of the deposits and we are very confident we can deliver something really special for you in 2022 we thank you for your incredible continued support and let's look forward to better times ahead so again it's a bit upsetting but i also think again perspective needs to be led towards it the scale of the festival is ridiculous they essentially take over a village um, and build another village right next to it um, as you can see here from this video that i'm going to play in the background and mute right uh, but basically you can see the absolute scale of the festival is absolutely insane here right from the size of the of the stage let's actually see this person's statement i just want to let you know in many ways this show has changed my fucking life drastically as you can see the scale of it is just absolutely insane so it made sense that this wasn't gonna occur this year it just wasn't feasible um i, I read somewhere that most festivals need six to eight months lead up time to get ready and then i've read in other forums that glastonbury people that sell stuff in the arts and crafts departments are like getting ready like sometimes december or sometimes earlier right putting their stuff together in terms of ordering suppliers and whatnot so i'd imagine something like glastonbury probably needs at least six to eight months maybe ten months to get ready ahead of time and lead up and obviously the insurance as well i'm sure they try to maybe work out some sort of deal with the government to make sure that if the festival was cancelled for any side of way they, they could maybe claim the money back i've read reports that it costs anywhere between 10 to 25 million to put the festival on so loads of costs are cured or attached to it and way too much risk considering what's going on i still think going forward there is the possibility of some rogue um independent slightly more mobile festivals deciding to do their thing later in the year because i think once the vaccinations have basically ramped up and we're at a point where people can start socializing i definitely envisioned sometime in august september um festivals and events happening to some level whether it's a small scale event i could definitely see them happening and then if you kind of added to that this statement here from uh number 10 sometime earlier in the year when was it? it was written this was january 20 the 10th right a few weeks ago um there was a rumor that came out this is a headline from daily mail that I screenshot said the following number 10 minutes examining plans to keep bars open for five sorry plans to keep bars closed for five months with full covid lockdown until late march as covid death toll passes eighty thousand. right but then the thing to kind of hone in on is this last line here in a sub headline which says the bank holiday on may 3rd is seen as a more likely date for boosters to reopen so they're kind of aiming for like a may day celebration Celebration to kind of get us all back out and maybe to boost the economy give people something to scream and shout about so if that's the case and the government's looking forward to that kind of may day date and they're obviously ramping up the vaccinations we're still living in lockdown now at the moment i can still envision 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 actually raves and festivals coming back to some regularity whether it's a scaled back uh, version of them sometime in a new year no sorry sometime at uh, at the tail end of summer now if that doesn't happen i'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, ready to go by next year of course going forward with the vaccination it's definitely going to happen but like i said it's upsetting news but i don't think you should be completely distraught by it there's still an the possibility and opportunity for us to go back out and rave we just have to kind of sit down and sit tight a little bit more and um, like i said um the people that are attached to it you know the people that kind of sort out these events the the crew and the people that work behind the scenes i'm not sure what they're doing during this time what support they have those are the people that really need to kind of look after hopefully there's a fund and a grant that those guys can apply for to ensure that they kind of keep their heads above water but regardless um i'm hoping by like i said by the end of summer things change if not the beginning of 2022 definitely be able to see large scale of, again i still think you can go out 
by the end of this year but in terms of going out properly like how you did in 2019 to an actual rave bum to bum with strangers right sitting down having fun and shit um i don't think that's going to happen again like i said until um next year um sort of similar to this where where, where, where can i see a video of it i can't see it oh it doesn't matter where is it taylor was released it doesn't matter anyway but yeah you know what i mean